Okay. We secured the goods. Oh my god. Obviously the corn dogs. Okay, so we got a lot of food. We spent like $90. <laughs> oh yeah, this box is not Oh, okay, okay, I'm excited. So we got some Korean corn dogs. Oh my god. Oh yes. Okay. I'm so excited. No, I think this will be its own video. Okay. <laughs> and we have a second order. Oh wow, they actually like put... okay. No, they went off. Oh. Okay. Guys, our stomach's gonna hurt later. Oh my god. I don't care. Literally, what is that? What is that? No, it's the it's a crab um crab and goons, but. Oh, careful! There's like sauce on the bottom. Like white sauce. Ew! What's that? They, their boxes just don't work. We got donuts, guys. Okay, we also got some. <laughs> <laughs> is that okay. getting in the video? Yes. Okay. We have some donuts. <laughs> Are those truffle fries? Oh my god, yes. Guys, I'm tired of opening boxes today. I'll do it. I'll I do can't it. close this. Work. Get up and fucking work. None of your bitches want to work anymore. Ugh. Ugh. I can't close this truffle movie. fries. You can't close it? Yeah. These look so good. How do they close it there? Oh, these are from my mom. I need to Why close are it already. In here? Oh, I got it. Yes. You got it? Okay. okay. I wish we had a, I wish oh, I could put a table in this car. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is what this? Is it's the, the mac and cheese. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Wait, put this sauce in there. I think that's supposed to go in my mom's sauce. Oh. Oops, I already closed it. Oh. Hey, we have, what, what kind of mac and cheese is this? Bacon. We have some bacon mac and cheese. You know I hate mukbangs? Oh my god. Do you know this? Have you guys ever been to China Buffet? Yeah, in a long time ago. This is where they have this there. What is this? I don't know. Oh, it's someone's sandwich. I think, I think it's, it's mine. We no, know it's not. I got the one. waffle this one. This is your sandwich, mainly. Okay, but we what? have... But we got no sandwich. No one got suffering. a sandwich. I thought I'm you got suffering. a sandwich. That was a sandwich? Yeah. That's what you got, right? I thought it was just tenders. Oh. I thought it was a sandwich. I have a sandwich here. Oh, yeah, this is yours. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was a sandwich. I think it's a yours. Is that all? Okay. Yeah, it's I, yeah. I got the best one here. This is a waffle chicken sandwich. Wait. Best one for the birthday boy. What is that? That's oh, the truffle fries. Okay. Look at this. Look at that. This has such a good pussy. Look at it. <laughs> Wait, I gotta send this. Oh I'm my gonna... god. Oh my god, I got all my pants. Oh. I'm gonna send a picture to my boyfriend. Let's see. Give me the fries. <laughs> They didn't give us any utensils. Oh, we were supposed to grab them ourselves. And you didn't grab it? <laughs> I didn't think. We got mac and cheese. There's uh, a CPS right there. I have a singular fork. Wait. Here? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you do! <gasps> oh, thank God. I'm just talking about microphone so I can hear us chewing. Or the ASMR. I wish you did. I was like confused. I, w I was like, I'm just telling you, Tyler, because we both love food. Okay, I definitely cannot eat all this. <laughs> this will be my lunch tomorrow at work for work. Oh my god, try these. I think I'm gonna jizz everywhere. Can you <laughs> jizz that way? <laughs> Maybe try these. Wait, get this, get that. Make sure you Is go up close and get the sound yes. a little. No, go to the camera and crunch. <laughs> Guys, this is so fucking spicy. <laughs> um, I should have put these. You want to save these for last? Mm -hmm, yeah, dessert. Yeah. Can you... you can put it up. I mean, you can put oh, it where I need to up there. This is over here. Korean corn dogs. I've never had Korean corn dogs. Oh, wait. Can I have the one without the ketchup? This one. Here you go. Just take the box. I've never had a Korean corn dog before. Can I get a napkin? Yeah. You've never no. had one? Uh uh. <gasps> Oh my god. It's hot. The cry. My digestive system is gonna be backed up. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm like overwhelmed. It's like so much food. No, this is literally a mukbang. Like it is. <laughs> it's really cheesy. Very cheesy. Mm. I was so worried about not being able to eat because I went to the dentist earlier and my teeth, like my oh. back teeth are sore. Cause I don't brush my I teeth. I wish I like starved myself before this. 
Huh? Speak if it's shoe and then speak. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Yeah, there's no cheese pole. I'll get there. Okay, bitch. I didn't know there was a hot dog. You're a hot dog. But the, They're I, a corn dog. It's a Korean corn dog. They have hot dogs in them. Some of them are just cheese. That's weird. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there. Mm. I hate how I have to deep throat this. <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> this is gonna go on the internet. Imagine this is the video that like blows up. <laughs> I like that you have faith in me. <laughs> I miss your YouTube. My YouTube? Stop. I actually happened. thought about starting it again. You should mainly do it, please. Actually? Yeah, so if you have a small business, that would be like cool. And That's you can true. promote it. Yeah. That's true. Like making DIY like oh, like vlog with me. Guys, I have a hack. Push it up. I would do that the whole skin? time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can you guys handle spicy food? Uh, I don't know. Not really. I'm a, fake, I'm a fake Asian. I'll try it. Okay. I'm good. I'm a fake Asian. I can't handle spicy food. You really can't. I know you can't. <laughs> uh, it's really hard for me to eat. I'm having so much fun. Thank you guys for coming. Of course. This is like one of the, this is like the best birthday I've ever had. So what are we doing for my birthday? Oh, we, we need to do something for your birthday. Yeah, we need to do something yeah. actually. Yeah, of yes, course. Just, yeah. Well, your birthday's on the 13th. I'm just, I start working on the weekends. So we'd have to go on a weekday. Yeah. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Popeye's Finebra. It's so fucking spicy. It's not that spicy. Really? Okay. <clears throat> Trying mac and cheese. Guys, so they, uh, the foreskin's getting pulled back. So I should realize how much food this is because I can't even finish this. I have to have a whole fucking sandwich, like. And we have the donuts. Oh. After. My, it fell apart. Guys, look, it fell apart. And mine's coming apart too. The mac and cheese was like no vibes. Oh no. Oh no. I just get to get home to eat for like later. I go back time. to. I go back to Boston on Monday. Or Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Did your classes end yet? No. You have one week off, right? Mm-hmm. I'm done. Same. I just have exams. Okay, I get it, guys. <laughs> oh! The fork fell? Mm. Is it mm. on the floor? Mm. Oh. We used to use this. Yeah, use a stick. <gasps> oh, you're so right. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna bring it home. Can you get, hand me a napkin, please? Right, sorry. Okay. There's so much going on. Oh my god, there's fries? <laughs> <laughs> I told you to try them earlier. I did. But I forgot. I like these. It's spicy. Mia's like begging me to FaceTime. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Look. Aww. You can share this one. I'm already very full. Okay, I'll save it. Just save it for like, yeah. Wait, this is like my sister do you even like eat your sandwich? I haven't even gotten to it yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> do you eat like separate food? For, like, would you eat like the sandwich first and then fries? I go in order. <gasps> I, I go between. I, I go, can't. Same. I like, I like eat my burger, okay, some well, fries, eat my burger, some fries. Like, I'm an alien here. This is like art. All this chewing <clears throat> noises. That's what that's what they're here for. Oh, so good. I how full it, I get so fast. The stomach is literally so small. It's literally the size of your fist. I'll take this one. Thanks. The one could have fit so much in it. 
Excuse me. It expands. Me. Oh. These fries are so good. I love truffle fries. I feel like Nick is hot or avocado right now. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no. He needs help. Does he have like a husband? I think so. I thought they broke I've up. I've seen his hole. What? I've seen his hole. We're not talking about that one we're eating. I've seen it on Twitter against my will. Because he has like an OnlyFans. Oh my god, stop. And it looks like, like a war zone. A toxic waste. <laughs> okay. Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> I know, we're like eating. <laughs> you like go more into detail. Guys, I'm excited for this one. Oh my god. Yeah, I cannot eat all this. I'm gonna save this for tomorrow. That's good. I that love is. waffles. That would give me a heart attack. <laughs> Are you guys a waffles or pancake person? I think waffles. Like waffles. Good. Good answer, guys. Isn't Jeffrey think pancakes? I think Jeffrey thinks pancakes. I've seen that. My boyfriend thinks Tyler thinks pancakes. Or better. We had um, an argument about it yesterday. My son doesn't make noises. Excuse them. Mine just did. I just burped, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was me that burped. What? I burped earlier. You didn't hear me? Uh-uh. I just burped again. We should play a game. Like a, I don't know, like a questions game. Like yeah, what? we should. Okay, what? Well, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to search question games. Question games for couples. Me and, you, Why not? me and Brendan used to do that. Do that. They're kind of boring. Okay. That was like when we were getting to know each other. I think I'm already full. A hundred thought-provoking questions for couples. Remember, guys, we are a throuple, okay? Yes. All right. A couple of friends. <laughs> okay, ready? Who was your first crush, and what were they like? My first crush was this guy in elementary school. But everyone had a crush on him. My first crush was this girl in second grade. Really? Mm -hmm. You're gonna put this on YouTube? No, I'm gonna cut that out. Okay. <clears throat> My first crush was. Like... Everyone has a crush on him, though. I think he, like. I don't think he had a. Sorry? Yeah. yeah. In elementary school, though. I knew him in elementary school. Had... He was my first crush. My first crush was this. I didn't realize it. I didn't know crushes were into like eighth grade, like genuinely. Like I couldn't process it. I was mm -hmm. like, how do you know you'd like someone? Like I couldn't understand it. Um, oh, you know. Mm -hmm. No, you I know. literally did not. But then I look back and then I realized uh, it was like this kid in first grade. He was like my best friend and he moved like to Chelsea or something. His name was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The reaction. <laughs> Can you describe what your first heartbreak was like? I bet to had it. Had it. Yeah. Have yet to had it. My first heartbreak was when I had a crush on a girl in freshman year. <laughs> and okay. she started she started hanging with this guy. And they ended up dating. And I was kinda of heartbroken. <laughs> okay, now that I thought YouTube was part was over. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. You kind of think a bit. I know. I thought you knew. Uh. You knew who I had a crush on in freshman year, and then it was I had a crush on Kayla for a minute. Yeah, she did. <laughs> you did. Um, my first heartbreak was pretty brutal. Yeah. It was really bad. I like. It was just bad. Like I, I don't know how to explain it, but like it definitely hurt a lot, just because it was like the first person I've ever like actually fallen in love with. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. When I broke up with him, I was fine the next day. <laughs> but yeah, it was just... Yeah, it ended really badly, too. If you see... It's it's whatever. I'm, me okay. use a napkin on my nose, and then you actually see a booger on it, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's something <clears throat> you used to believe about relationship... Oh, no. What was the biggest lesson from your worst breakup? Okay, I have never had a breakup, so I can't talk. <laughs> Maybe. Kayla's doing Kayla's doing this to answer if on her own. <laughs> no, the, I'm literally she going in, I'm going in order. I'm trying to like go in order. She, Kayla goes, Maybe. As if she hasn't been my friend like what? I was, I was just trying to include you, okay? <laughs> okay, let me see. My the biggest lesson I learned from my breakup is it uh 
sometimes it's just best to let them go for your own good and you have to go your separate ways and live your lives without them and that is okay is this breakup advice i guess wait that's <laughs> what the question is right kayla's breakup advice my breakup advice mukbang plus kayla's uh, break, I mean, break. Break. i've never had a breakup but i'm gonna try to speak on something i don't know but i would say like just use this opportunity to focus on yourself and improve yourself true that i can strongly agree with that <clears throat> you know the yeah, I, I, think, I'm like, go more into I, I think people don't realize it like if they don't realize it before like getting into a relationship like focusing on themselves like they're gonna realize it yeah. after like majorly because i still think about like how i want to tell myself okay what's something you used to believe up about relationships but but no longer do that's a really interesting question that is i have to think something you used to believe about relationships but you don't Oh, I believe that. Okay, so I'll tell you like this. I don't know if this, if this even answer this. <laughs> is it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If this answers the questions, but like, a lot of like old couples, they were they're not happy. Oh, they're that not. is that's true. Like oh, I used yeah. to believe that like these old couples they grow together, they're so in love, whatever that they've stayed together. But it's like most, mostly it's like the, it's the guy that's like, that's like, they grew up like, like. Abu- not abusing that's like a really bad word to use but like manipulative like i don't know I don't it's know. like how ethnic relationships are like you, they get enraged marriages kind of and then they kind of stick with them like that's my family i feel like it's like it's, if you talk to an old person and you ask them about like their relationship like in the early stages it's like the guy controlling the girl and it's like it's like awful it's like i don't like know I, I, think I don't make i don't make sense right now oh. but I can't. I have something I in my gonna, head. I was gonna say that the um, right person, wrong time thing. I actually don't know how to feel about that. Right person, wrong time. Yeah, like I used to like not believe in that, but I feel like once you part your ways, or like if it's like a really healthy breakup or something, if you part your ways and then like focus on yourself, and I'm you guys find him. your way back to each other, he wants to eat our food. Don't <clears throat> let him. Where is it? You know, he's just in here for the ride. Right, right. But if you find your way back to each other, then I think that's like right person, wrong time. You know? Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. So I, I say not you believe in it. But do you believe in that now? Yeah. In like, not ways of like other people would think of it. I know. I think. I think I know what you mean. Yeah. Um. One thing I used to believe is that once you find someone, you'll be with them for the rest of the life. But there are a million people. You think that? Yeah, but there are a million people out there, and you're always gonna find someone like new after you break up with someone. And just like, like I'm like what I'm saying is like when you break up with someone, it's not like the end of the world. Yeah. Like you're always gonna find there's a lot in the of moment it'll feel like that way, but it's eventually you'll get over it. Yeah, and you'll <laughs> Even find if it takes someone years. new. Yeah. Next question: What was something surprising that you were afraid of as a child? Sex. <laughs> you were afraid of sex? I thought it was just yeah. I thought it was scary. But I'm, now it's just like I'm afraid of butterflies. Oh, I, wait! Something that you're afraid of? Something surprising that you were afraid of as a child? Something? That, what is it? I can't. I'm slow. Something that surprise? Like something that's really weird that you were afraid of as a child, but you're not like scared of now. Okay. Um, I would say like. I don't fall. Sorry. Say it. <laughs> She's full. Oh, I'm. I'm still I'm, eating. I just. I have I room, just, but I don't want to eat too much because like I'm gonna feel disgusting because this is all fried food. True. I'm just trying to finish my sandwich. I want to get to the donuts. I, I think we're gonna pull, put that off. <clears throat> Alright, what's something you were afraid of as a child? But that's like weird. I want to say like an interesting answer, but I, I like I don't know. I have to think. I think like right, right now, I can think of just driving. Driving is like that's so valid. weird, but like I know I do it now. Like I don't even think about it. Um, I I <laughs> was probably scared of driving more than I was of sex. I'm being so serious. <laughs> I was so scared of driving. Cause there's more ways of like dying. Next question? Yeah. What was your favorite food growing up? Hmm. Well, and it still is. I would have to say, like, this is not a food, but I would say Malta. It's a drink. I'll say, um, my mom used to make... <laughs> I don't know, I'm like a, I don't really eat. My, my mom used to make really good, um, French toast. I, I would say, like... And I loved it sweet plantains those are so good oh, oh and um the you know the um the instant noodles like the fried ones though the fried instant the noodles. indomie ones i think so where did my water go i thought it was really good 
Things used to taste taste so much better when you were younger. I know. Alright. <coughs> that's water. the mouthful, babe. I put your water here somewhere. Guys, I cannot do this. Like, I, that's one last bite. And Don't I'm overeat. Well, no. It feels really gross. I think it's just like fried foods like make me feel extra gross. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Like, this food is good, but like, in, my in moderation. Like fire. Okay, what's next? Nice? Oh, sorry. Are they still looking for your water? I am. What is your favorite meal now? Cthulhu. I love Cthulhu. Same. I, can I didn't the... know you like it. I could eat it like every day. I'm being so Why did you think I don't like it? Well, not like don't like it. It's just like I feel like no one likes it. At... That's That sounds crazy. As much as I do. Like, I can oh. eat it like all the time. Me too. I love Cthulhu. It's like my favorite. I'm not a foodie, ever. so I don't know. You're not? Not really. I mean, I... guys, like, really? Like, every time we've gone out, all we've done is eat. That's so true. <laughs> I don't understand Wait, how your, people aren't your, foodies. Your big booty is in the camera now. Ooh, and give them fine. a little show. Give them a little show. Oh, it's it's just it's under your feet. It is. Oh, it is. I was kicking it. Sorry. All right. Oh, it was spilling. What was? What, always does that. <laughs> what was the first album you ever owned? I know mine. It was a Miley Cyrus CD. The first album I've ever owned was a Melanie Martinez album. Oh what? God, no way. Yeah. Was it? Was it? That's like in middle school. Yeah. Oh my and then god. That's when they gave it to me. Mm. But my mom. Now. My mom used to get me. Um, she got me the Hannah Montana one. She got me the Camp Rock one, the High School Musical mm -hmm. one. So I don't know which one was first. How does? Girl. How does your life compare to how you imagined it growing up? Can I go first? I did not think I would make it past high school. I thought for some reason I was just going to die before high school. But here I am at my first year of college. What was the question again? I couldn't see myself graduating. When I thought about it, I could not envision it as like a seven-year-old. Okay, how does your life compare to how you imagined it growing up? <clears throat> okay, so life, I, the way I imagined it, it was going to be like good. It was going to be like fun. But this shit is fucking depressing. This shit is sad. Like, well, for me at least. Like, I feel like the bad moments outnumber the good moments sometimes. It really does. And it like sucks but i know like it will not be like that for long so yeah like it's just it's part of life and you really just have to like life. just have to like change your attitude because like the world is like shit but you just have some to people are so fucking negative about like like things that cannot be changed yeah like what can you really do you know you can only change yourself yeah you can, like you can't change <clears throat> what happens but you have to change you can change your reaction to how you how you react to things this is like such a like <clears throat> it's like the opposite but like i i think i'm doing this like the same as what i i knew i was gonna go to school in boston and like i've had so much shit happen in my life like from elementary school that like that i've noticed it since then like like stuff about like my dad mm -hmm. I, that happened like my whole childhood so like there was it was nothing it was nothing that was gonna like hit me like crazy because it was already happening when i was younger so like it just got better from there i think i think yeah and then i knew like i've kind of i didn't like my major is kind of like everything i ever wanted like, Same. that's good that like you're on you're like on track okay i think i have a better answer <clears throat> this this one's not as morbid as what i just said but like <laughs> so like when i grew up I had like trouble with my sexuality, like, yeah. and even because I I was having crushes on girls until like high school, and then, but I always knew that like sexually, like it was weird. Like sexually, I liked guys. Like I would have sex with a guy, but I would like <clears throat> emotionally like girls. Like I would I would like I would want to date a girl romantically. Would, romantically, yeah. I think that's just society, right? It's just like a societal thing, like you, or like, I think you genuinely There's had a like word crushes for it. though. What? I think you genuinely like had. No, I did. Oh, yeah. I did. I like. I like. I. I remember. That I had real feelings for these girls. I remember. Like, yeah. You know how <laughs> I, I was. With, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but like when I was younger, I was like, you know I'm what? I'm gay. I'm yeah, that's right. I was like, I'm I'm gay, and like I grew up in a Christian house, so like, I know it's wrong. Like, so I'm just never. I'm never gonna have like, I'm just gonna not ever be in a relationship because i would hate to like date a girl but secretly like i liked guys so and i would not want to do that to a girl that's like not fair and that's a very i would not want to put a woman through that so like i'm just not going to ha ever date anyone i'm never going to be in a relationship my whole life and i'm so glad i'm i'm, I'm 
I do not have that mindset anymore because that would be that would be such a depressing way to live life. Yeah. Like I was ashamed of my sexuality, but now I don't give a fuck. Like. Perfect. Yes, <laughs> Scared. What was your dream job when you were a kid? I, I wanted like, it, I wanted to be a pop star. I still have hopes for those dreams. I think I think I could see you. I think there I definitely it was just <clears throat> it either happened out of nowhere. I don't think I would take the efforts. And oh you wanna just like sense. suddenly blow up, yeah. Does that make sense? You wanna like suddenly blow up? Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm like, and like, then people work will find you because like that's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> for me, I don't really want to be a pop star. I always felt like I was gonna be a pop star. I always felt like I was gonna be like a huge star. That sounds like so like. No, but you were little. I know. I feel like everyone had that when they were little, though. That, I, I still be feel like, like I feel like I was like yeah, me meant too. for something. Like I feel like not like an actor. I I that was always on the bottom of like my artistry thing because I don't think I can act. Like one. I love minute. acting. I would like, love I to literally try. Saw I myself, love film. <clears throat> I saw myself. Like I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be on an episode of iCarly one day. I literally th I literally thought I was gonna be on like Shake It Up. I actually thought I was gonna be on fucking Shake It Up. Ugh. My I, yeah, my dream job was to be an actress. I love movies and film. I still do. Right now my dream job is to be a singer. But I, think I cannot you're so I don't have the ability for that. You, that that was my I was literally like I wanted to be Hannah Montana. I still do. Like guys, I still do. What have a secret identity? About? Yeah. This is this is gonna expose your secret identity. Exactly. <laughs> no, but like, you, we can just talk and then like tell me what you don't want in the video. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't care. All right. Uh, guys, really? No my Hannah gonna, Montana I mean, I mean, career? No <laughs> I mean, I know no one's gonna watch this, but like, whatever. Were, were you popular in high school? No. No, we were uh -uh. not. We were <laughs> guys, not. I was like, I had like. I was the most embarrassing person that ever walked the halls. Of I didn't have any, I barely had any friends. Your personality like, was uh, very distinct. I said barely, not, I didn't. Okay. 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 What was your favorite school subject growing up? Math. None. <laughs> Mine was math. I love math. I, I still love math. I liked math growing <clears throat> up and then now hate it. I think up until like calculus, I liked math. Because it was like, it's just so easy. Like I hated English because like, Me too. I'm not a English. very creative person. So like, I don't like having to like, it's like you have to use your brain to like, but like math is just like a formula. Like you just run the formula. That's, right what, answer. that's what like, that's why I like math that's so much. That's what everyone says. But like I've, calculus ruined it mm -mm. Really? Even, even in college i still love math that's my favorite no calculus subject. in college was what? so easy like i enjoyed it because it was so easy but like and for some reason ap calc was so hard i, I love really ap like calc ap calc i loved it i okay, literally yeah. i'm taking creative writing right now do you like it i think like i could write if I, I i feel like i wouldn't mind writing if i if it was just doing it on my own i don't like having to like have an assignment i have to write about something i don't care about yeah or like a book well like some things were like it was like creative non-fiction <laughs> and then i could do that but it was just more of like reflecting like my, my trauma to like these like things and making it like more interesting or seeing what i see around if that makes any sense yeah. and then like like poetry like i hate poetry now like i i, I think it's useless i think like attacking i think poetry's tacky. i think a, i think a song a song makes more sense i feel like to me poet like not to, not to like hate on the poets out there because <laughs> like poet poetry is really beautiful no, but it's yeah. just not for me if, if you can do it like it's, it's actually so beautiful i feel like there's like people are Actually, really good at it. Like people who are people who are good at it, they're good. Like they're, they're, like there's a whole delivery and everything. What's that thing? It's like when I die, don't cry. What? <laughs> it's like, what? what is this milk and honey? <laughs> it's like a it's like a milk TikTok sound. It's like when I when I die, wait, if I die, don't cry or something. I wanna find this out. <laughs> if I die, don't cry. Just look up to the sky and say goodbye. Bye Felicia. <laughs> what, what's what, what what's the one from Gabby Hanna? Like, 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 something about time is relative. Something is relative. Families is that was, relative. That's all on you. That's all on you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right. Um, was there an embarrassing fashion, fashion, fashion? Kayla, song? you have plenty. Kayla, oh, you have plenty. Oh, guys, up until, up until like freshman year. No, <laughs> up until sophomore year. That was my whole entire life career, was cringe fashion. Same. You. Yes. We weren't, we weren't like, I didn't pay attention to you that much. I think. I dressed so I, didn't, I don't think <clears throat> I even I saw you that often. No, but like in front of you, it was a little bit, it was a little bit better. No, we, think... You were in like this, a whole different cluster. Yeah, I was in, throughout I was in high school. <laughs> yeah, but we never had classes or anything. So we wouldn't have known each, like we wouldn't have like talked to each other. 
If you didn't like wave to each other, nothing. Before, I don't remember, it was a long time ago. <laughs> For me, I, I had come to school with an outfit. I think I ate it up, but I didn't. But my favorite one is the highlighter one with the bulletproof vest. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> is there a picture? Do you have a picture? Send it to William and he can put it in. No, you're not putting it in. I'm going to show you guys. We're not showing it here because that is so embarrassing. And my boyfriend, so I haven't even shown my boyfriend it because he's going to. He would laugh. He would Because he's a fashion major. He's going to eat me up. <laughs> um. Wait, I don't. Oh my god. Oh my god. I dress like a fucking nerd. Like, when I say I dress like a fucking nerd, if I could find, like, I'll probably try to look through it and you could put it. I, oh, like, wait. I know on the first day of fifth grade, I wore, like, this blazer and it was a, a purple lace blazer with, like, blue collared. And, <laughs> and then I had, like, the, the boxy glasses oh, no. and, like, my side bangs. Oh. I was obsessed. Like, I was obsessed with, like, Shake It Up. I remember so, when people like, would, wear, I, would get the 3D movie glasses. Oh my god. Okay, that's not that. That's not, <laughs> that's not too bad. That is so bad. I it's thought not, I came to school. I walked in. I was like, I'm eating this up right now. You remind me of. Let me see. Guys, my also I wore like striped shirts and like what what year? I don't remember. Like sophomore or junior year, and I don't know what that was. Junior, junior year was yeah. a fever dream to me. Me too. Because I don't. We went I, to COVID. Yeah. Like lockdown. None of the above. Oh. <laughs> this is basically what she looks like. These outfits. Alright, next, next question. Next question. <laughs> what is your definition of romance? Romance is when it's like they're your best friend. Yeah. Like <clears throat> you could do like being in love Any, with your best friend. Anything. Yeah. You can talk about anything. Not be scared of them. Especially since they've see seen. Okay, yeah. Like, they've seen everything. Like, I don't know. I feel like that just, like, adds on to it, if that makes sense. But it depends, because people are, like... People have, like, different definitions of, like... That's true. For me... The... Anyways. <laughs> for me, like... I feel like... Because the way people in our day and age, like, start dating is, like, they find each other, like on like online or like they see someone no <clears throat> listen i'm listening like they see someone cute in person or something they're like i want to date like they just they go immediately straight into like talking or like dating i think personally i feel like you should be friends like you should be friends first yeah like i don't know you like gave me a look why did you give me a look i don't know i think you guys are disagreeing with me i, don't I know. know i agree with me you. and brendan like we're friends for yeah like, i feel like years. it's more or, i think I it's more organic it, kept, when it's friends first. i kept it in the back of my mind that he would always be an option and then it ended up happening which is like so i weird. thought that was me <laughs> it's me are you sure it wasn't me no i, felt, I, felt, I literally felt i felt it too we had at the same time but i feel like when you're a friend because you would tell a friend anything you know so like <clears throat> if your boyfriend's like just your if your partner is just like your partner like your significant other is that actually a thing though <laughs> that's like, what i feel because people just they start talking like they just go straight to talking you're you're so right actually <laughs> yeah, yeah then people just so go right. straight to talking like it's immediately a relationship and it's just so weird because like i feel like <clears throat> dating dating is also like when like you're learning about each other but i feel like you should like if you've just met someone you should be friends first so you can like like learn more about each other and then like if you really like start developing feelings like actual feelings and yeah start dating i would i would not have as much trust as i do if i was like okay i feel like it sounds like we're bashing on you kayla like it sounds like we're bashing on no you, i agree i it's because like uh if i met someone on a dating app and then i wasn't friends like i don't know who the person is at all not to freak you out not to freak you out like okay you have to cut this one out like it's like you could fall you don't know people's you could, intentions you, you could know? like fully fall for someone and then find out like one thing about them and then it's just it like changes everything your, it changes your whole perspective that's like that's why you need to be friends and know first. everything <clears throat> and actually not every, not, like not everything because you because even i like i've been in a relationship for almost years and you still like learn new things but like yeah i'm like i don't i don't know i can't really put into words I like learning like, new things, like, so far in a relationship, too. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's a beautiful thing, you know, yeah. like, you're building something with someone. I didn't know Brendan played football foot, fo football until, like, a couple years, a couple months ago. <laughs> and he played with, like, all the white boys, like, <laughs> like the ones who oh. actually do football. 
Do you see yourself having kids? If so, how many? Oh, I've always, I always wanted kids. Really, you I, want kids? Yeah. You don't seem like the type. Really, so I want, like, I want like nine. Okay, I don't Actually, know, okay, like I the most two. I'll do. I want a boy and a girl. Yeah, the least I'll do is two. Most I'll do five or six. <gasps> oh my god! I really want. Yeah. You want like a family? I want a baby. You want a family. family? Like yesterday, like I was when I was I. Like I was eating yesterday, and like this, per the table next to me was like a, a mom and her son, and his birthday was tomorrow. Like it's today too. Aww. I was like, like I literally want to start crying because like I can't wait to have like a child, and I just like surprise them with like stuff, you know? Like, I know. I'm ugh, I'm, ugh. Children are so precious. I, I want, I want two or three. I want a boy and a girl, and then like the third one, like it would probably be like a spontaneous thing. But like I don't want the part part. An alien? A boy and a girl and no, an I, alien. Want, I want my kids to be the same, like near the same age. Yeah, yeah. like I definitely want more than one. So I want them so to have each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna do like I always thought about like twenty five to twenty eight. Like I would stop it, but with thirty at the most, like really pushing it. Really? I'm going. My my children window is thirty to thirty five. My children window. I, I feel like society the... wants you to have children so like online, like so early. People have. Like it's like normal to have kids at like twenty, like your early twenties, mid twenties. I wouldn't do early. It's way too early. And I used to feel like that way. Like I used to want to have kids early, but like now I'm like thirties. Thirties is so young. Like no, your life begins is, at thirty. I I try for kids like early or like talk about it, and I also want to take classes on like how to be a parent. Yeah, that should be normalized. I hate the word normalized, but like <laughs> we need to, especially for straight people, to be making. Because they have the that's they, why, they fuck up these kids like crazy. <laughs> like I'm being so serious. Like they literally have they they're stuck in their small ass bubble. Like yeah. it's crazy. Especially white people. <laughs> like I'm being serious. Like it's like white straight couples. Like that produce like these weird ass kids. No, yeah. I mean, they don't all the like yeah, they have they're, they literally white people they're like obli oblivious to like things outside of their Which is so it it makes so much sense. Like It does. <laughs> like I don't I don't blame like, them. How do I go to a, a car dealership and they're, and they're like, "How do you get your hair like that?" <gasps> like, hello, I grew it out of my scalp myself. Like, they didn't <laughs> even know that people can grow hair. What? They didn't know that people could grow like curly hair. Yeah. I, I, I told you earlier, like that guy. He was like, "How do you get your hair like that?" Remember? No. I literally said it on the way here. No. No, she wasn't in the car. You weren't. <laughs> she wasn't. Oh. Wow. But yeah, like some people don't know. Yeah, like simple things, I already like, told you this in the car earlier. But one time I went to a Vietnamese um, sandwich shop, and these two white girls came up. To, I, I ordered my food. I was waiting for me. my food. Oh yeah, and these two white girls came up to me and they're like, "Um, excuse me, you guys still open?" <laughs> I'm just a customer ordering my Vietnamese food, and you asked me if I if they're people, open. I, I don't fucking work here. I just a customer. This it was girl so at ridiculous. school fucking asked me. Like, if I ever, like, it was, so, like, it was a white girl. Like, she asked me one time, like, if I ever went through racist shit. Like, she, it was so random. She was like, Maylee, what are, like, do you have any experiences? I was like, what is this? Like, what is this? I was like, yeah. And I mentioned, like, like, the distinct ones. Um, And they were like, aw. And then, like, literally my friend gave me a hug. I was like, I can't. The I can't fuck? do it. <laughs> I was like. She, 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 she gave you a hug and she felt no. bad. Like it was like it was like a group of us and then like the two white people like one like well other than Brendan. Like um one of them gave me a hug and I was like it's so He was also weird. like drunk. But then he would give me a drunk uh, give me a hug sober. Yeah. It's just white people don't know enough. And I also want to like I don't want my kids like growing up like homophobic. Yeah, you have like it's I feel like homophobia is taught. Yeah, no, it, it is. is. It's taught. Right. Next question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you believe in God? I do. I don't. I do to an extent, but I don't know how to explain the extent. I grew up in a Christian household, so I do believe in God, but like I'm not like religious, religious like. I don't know. I don't even want to. Ex I don't know how to explain it. Like I know. I feel like I don't go to church like, or anything. I. I believe there's like something bigger. Yes. Than us, yeah. Definitely. But I don't know what. And that's the, I just leave it's it. It's like that. weird cuz there's like two parts of me there's like I grew up believing in God and like I feel like I believe I do believe in God but then like if you think about it white people are the people who brought Christianity over and like they were using that to justify like slavery and like taking over people's countries and stuff so like 
I don't even know if I believe in Christianity, but like I do. I don't know. It's weird. I just don't straight up believe in anything. I think I realized this in like high school. I don't know what caused me to realize this. I think it's just as I just started also, growing up more. I just felt like we leave. Soon, yeah, we should not, leave. Yeah, soon, not like yeah. super soon, but I feel bad. It's okay because I don't know if my mom's ate. And she, I texted her that I got her food. She's like, "Can't wait to eat." Oh. And like, <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god!" How about this? How about this is the last question. Okay, yeah. okay. So I don't believe in a god. I've always felt this way since like high school. But growing up, I did believe there was something out there. Mm -hmm. But now I don't. Especially now, you don't believe in anything. Yeah, that's I don't, why I didn't think <laughs> you were gonna have kids. <laughs> I, yeah, I just don't think. Just in my personal opinion, I feel like there's nothing out there. I think every, like everything happens by coincidence. If you want something to happen, you make it happen yourself. Mm -hmm. That's like, like stuff I guess like that. how I feel like about accidents, God is like how I feel with like astrology. Like don't astrology, talk about astrology with me. I know, I know, I know. You hate astrology, but like, you like do? these people are yeah. like crazy about. I feel it. like I don't. I like I let the astrology I, I I let the astrology girls have their thing, but like they're too much sometimes. It's cute, but it's like it I don't like believe in it. Like they they take I feel some people take it way too far. And as an astronomer, like your dad's major, not abusive because he's a fucking Scorpio. Aquarius. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> as as an astronomy major, I fucking hate astrology. It pisses me off so much. Explain. Explain. Cause like you're the expert here. Okay. The constellations in the night scar the scars. <laughs> <laughs> the night so the the constellations in the night scar do not determine Star? What? Star. in the night sky. <laughs> the constellations in the night sky do not dictate you as a person. You were just born underneath this set of stars. It doesn't mean anything. These set of stars are like if just, they're just out too. They're just like big balls shit. of fire in space and they don't control. They don't. That's, I, that's how I feel. They like, don't. They don't attain anything to your personality. It. But if you believe in it, I really don't care. But just don't try to force it on me. The thing is, like, that's, how that's what they do now. Like, it's like I don't know when astrology blew up because it it was like pretty recent. Like yeah. what people like, ask me about crazy. when my big three. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck is a big three? I know what it is, but like. And they're like, oh my god, I don't know that. I don't even know what. And that's is. all like people talk like all they talk do is talk about signs, and I'm like. Okay, can we can we just have a normal, nice conversation? Can we not mention science yeah, at all? And like, I always get whenever I tell people I'm an astron astronomy major, they're like, "What's my sign? Can you tell me?" Can you that's tell two me? different things. Like they're, like they're like they're like, "Can you tell me about this? I'm a Libra, but can you tell me why this happened to me?" I'm gonna get I don't this. I took a bite and I was like, "You don't like it?" I I can't fit it. Oh. Oh. It's fine. I'm fine. But, but yeah. How did we go from God to astrology? No, but it's kind of, it's like, it's kind of like a, oh, it's like okay, sort yeah. of a religion, kind of. People treat it like one. That's true. Let's do one more question for the road. Let me find a good one. I want, I'm, I'm having so much fun. We can do a driving I was going to say okay, that. Okay, we'll do yeah. all driving. Okay. Yeah. Say bye. I thought we were going to do more. While we're driving? No. I said I don't want these lights on. When we're okay, driving. so we just do it off we can camera. Just, yeah. We can have a genuine moment, you know. Mm -hmm.